In the last episode, I crossed into Germany from Switzerland and made a 400 km detour into the Bavarian Alps to see the infamous Nashwinstein Castle, somewhere I'd always wanted to see since I was a child. I then began heading towards the Danube River, which I planned to follow for the next 2,000 km. Nashwinstein is behind me and look at those mountains. Wow. Luckily, I'm almost done with them and now heading towards the Danau River. It'll be nice and flat, hopefully. join my little friends over the night. Now I just need to work out how to get rid of them all because there are a lot of them. I feel really bad for these guys but there are slugs everywhere, flies everywhere and they're not gonna move. I've tried. You can shake the tent as much as you like. They stay inside. Like come on guys just go away guys over there you have five minutes otherwise you're getting evicted from your lives yeah look he's just fully stuck to the metal come on shoot please otherwise you will get killed by my brake pads okay i've now cleared at least a hundred slugs from the tent and I'm not even a quarter of the way done and look at my poor panniers they've left these trails everywhere they are all over it and I'm really hoping that the one pannier that I left open has not been infested and the only thing the literal only thing that I can wipe my hands on is grassy nettles yay so I'm now taking apart the inside of the tent which I never do and like it's taken me another half an hour just to get them off this wall and from the surrounding areas. Oh. But yeah, they, they just don't stop, do they? Look. Slug. Slug. Slug, 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 slug. More slugs. I'm less than halfway through. Way less. They are everywhere. And look, you can't even get them off you. Well. Now you can, apparently, but earlier you couldn't. And look at the lovely stuff they leave you behind with. Three hours. That's how long it took to get rid of the thousands of slugs. Now I just have to finish packing up the bike. It's now 10.30, which is, well, put it this way, I was supposed to be at my destination by 10.30, but oh well. And set off towards a... Uh, Munchen? Munich? Munich? No idea how it's pronounced properly. I knew there were more! Go away! Yeah, that includes you. Join the ride. He's pretty active, as you can probably tell. Cute little guy, isn't he? 
By the afternoon, I had arrived in Munich. Luckily, I already had a few contacts there, and I was quite excited to finally meet them. By the evening, two more tall bikers arrived, and they wanted to show me around Munich before I left the next morning. So after trying out each other's bikes, we set off on a ride around the city. Ah, let's see who can do this. We rode into the night and happened to come across the well-known river surfers, one of the biggest attractions in Munich, and a site you can see almost daily throughout the year, with over 2,000 surfers frequenting these rivers. This is the B66 I bought this morning for £10, no euros, nice springs, but it had the same issue as the B17, just as uncomfortable, and I think it's the bridge, it's just putting way too much pressure on the perennial nerve. So based on looking at some images, can't wait for mine to arrive in Budapest, so I'm going to try and cut it out myself using some terrible tools and hope that that works. Two hours and a lot of sanding later. Well, two hours altogether, I mean. Still, doesn't look too bad. Now I've just got to see if it actually works or if this was a waste of time. So, how's it going? Got the new seat on. Well, uh, old seat, but carved. 
And to be honest, it feels just as much, if not more uncomfortable. Probably because I did it uh, wonky. And hello to the Donau. I think I pronounced it correctly this time. It's been a very long 60 mile day that I did not plan, but here we are. So, this thing the slugs. And today, it's all the ants. They are everywhere. And you cannot just pick them off like with slugs. They just don't go off. I just want to put my shoes on. But no, there's an entire nest. So I'm uh, now following the Danau or Danube River this morning, first day, heading to Passau and Linz for tomorrow, and actually got my spirits up for a change. Wind's on my side, it's mostly downhill, so yeah, let's see how it goes. Eventually I reached Passau, the last city before Austria. I went to take a look in the 330-year-old St. Stephen's Cathedral, home to the largest pipe organ in Europe. And there's the Danau. Hopefully I'm pronouncing it correctly by now. And today is just really good actually. Got a tailwind, very hot, that's the only downside, but at least it's not raining. I'd much rather have this heat. And it's like cycling in one massive valley the whole way. So we've got massive hills on either side for the entire journey. I'm doing about uh, 45 miles today, which I think is roughly 70 kilometers. Um, and the, the Danau is right there, so at least I know it will be mostly flat. Campsite I'm going to tonight is just a small farm, so I hope it will be cheap for a change. And I put my um, shorts on for a change. The saddle is still kind of killing me, but it's better than the last one was, so yeah. Well, I um, missed it back there, but now in Austria, just past the sign. Still following the Danau. And yeah, uh, 10 miles today left to go, then I'm done and I can rest. We're now on day 36, second day on the Dano River, and this is where I stayed last night, up on a campsite up there, only six euros. I've just got to cross the river this morning, go to the other side, because this side is incredibly hilly. Well, that, that does look pretty bad as well, but yeah. And um, follow this path that way for about 40 miles, just following the river, going left, right, left, right, until I get to Linz. And yeah, here's my boat. Let's get on this little thing. Um, headwinds today have been brutal, absolutely brutal. So mix that with the heat and my phone eventually just said, oh well it's too hot, I'm gonna turn off. So I just followed this path assuming uh, that's the Danau route because as you can see plenty of cyclists on it right? But as it turns out it's not. <laughs> 
and about a mile back. I think I made the wrong turn. Yeah, I'm kind of on an island thing that's not accessible. Whoops. So I guess I'll have to do a little bit of a back backtrack, go around, and I've still got at least 15 miles left today, and I have no energy. And the rain's coming, there's meant to be a thunderstorm this afternoon, so I have no clue what I'm going to do, but I need to be in Budapest in one week. And right now I'm not even at Linz, which is more than 100 miles from Vienna. Yay. <laughs> Oh yeah, where should I go for my morning coffee and bagel today? I know, Glorious Bastards. What a great name. If you're enjoying these videos, please consider hitting the like button and subscribing. It would mean a lot to me since I put months of work into this video series and your support is greatly appreciated.